trust your first impression. What are you imagining there to be? Feels like Renaissance times. Mm -hmm. Renaissance times. Tell me about this. Just see castles. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of housing. A lot of land. Mm -hmm. Where are you seeing this from? From a distance. Mm -hmm. Tell me what else you see there. I feel like I'm in the forest, mm -hmm. looking out. Like I'm afraid to go any further than the side of the forest. Mm -hmm. I want you to go deep into your emotions and let's find out why you're afraid to go out of the forest. What are you exam what are you feeling there? I think that they're gonna try to kill me. Mm-hmm. So let's focus on yourself now and tell me, do you feel like you're male or female? I feel like I'm a little old man. Mm -hmm. Not Just, very tall, mm -hmm. light white hair, beard, white beard, mm -hmm. a little disheveled. I don't feel like I know any of these people. I feel alone. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about yourself. What do you feel that you live? I feel like I live probably right inside the forest there in a mm -hmm. cave. Mm -hmm. So let's find out where it is that you live. Let's close the scene. And I'd like for you to go to exactly where you live. See it from the outside first. Describe this place for me. It's in the forest. There's like a... Like I've got bushes or trees covering the entrance. Mm -hmm. Not everyone would know it was there. Mm -hmm. I know it's my home. So how do you get inside? I just move the bushes around. Mm -hmm. So let's go inside and tell me what's there. I feel like it's my home. It doesn't really have anything in it, but it's mine. Mm -hmm. How big is this place? Mm. Seems like it's plenty big for me. Mm -hmm. But it's not huge, huge, and it's not too small. I can stand up and walk around and build a fire, mm -hmm. eat. Mm -hmm. What else is in this place? Look around. Do you own anything? I feel like there are some books in there, but I don't see them. Mm -hmm. I don't really even see anything to sit on. Anything else of importance here? Just some my food, some food. Mm -hmm. What is it that you eat? Just an animal. Mm -hmm. I took the skins off of it and was cooking it. Very good. So let's close this scene now and let's move to another significant scene in your lifetime when something very important is happening, something that impacts your life. I just feel like I'm, I died by myself. Mm -hmm. Like I'm supposed to be there, but no, anybody really knows I'm there. Let's go back further to find out how you got there. Let's travel back in time. Before you were there in that cave, when you were part of society. See yourself there. Uh, in my 20s, mm -hmm. and I, I do, I live amongst the villagers, or it's, it's like, still, it's like a castle. Mm -hmm. 
Do you live in the castle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you do there? I'm smart. Mm -hmm. They ask me things. All right. Let's find out what it is that you do. I know about herbs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I help them when they're not feeling good. I know which ones to choose. Are you employed by them? Do you work for them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where do you live? I have a room. Mm -hmm. They respect me. What is your name there? What do they call you? A doc. Mm -hmm. They call you doc? That's the only thing I can hear. Mm -hmm. So doc, let's find out what happens that changes your life. Let's go to that scene where something important happened that changes everything. Well, I think some uh, one of the children die. Mm -hmm. And they think it's my fault. So I run and hide because I think they're going to kill me. Mm -hmm. That's why I live in the cave. But I didn't hurt the child. I tried. Mm -hmm. So you've been holding all this guilt for no reason, Doc? Yeah, it's a pretty little girl. Mm -hmm. Whose girl was she? I think it was the king's. Mm -hmm. Looks like it was the king. She was a little blonde-haired girl, mm -hmm. about six years old. And I gave her the medicine. She died anyway. Mm -hmm. So I took off. I ran. I hid. <sighs> That's what I did. I just go in the cave and live my life there. Mm -hmm. So, Doc, I want you now to go to the last day of your life in that lifetime and tell me what's happening. It's sad. I let this little girl die. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's my fault. And I die alone. I feel like it's my fault. I should die alone. Now you feel like you're punishing yourself, Doc? Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. <sighs> How does that affect you, Doc? Do you feel very heavy about that? Yeah. All right. But, Doc, I'd like for you to give me all of that. Would you like me to take that guilt from you? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to put my hand on your chest, and I want you to give me all of that guilt inside of you. Pull it all out. You don't need that burden anymore, Doc. You are not responsible for the life of another human. You did the best that you could, couldn't, didn't you? You had the best intentions. You didn't kill her out of... because you didn't like her. No, I loved her. Mm -hmm. So do you think it's right for you to hold on to that guilt? No, give it to me. Give me all of that guilt that you're holding. Send it all out from every cell in your body. Give it to me. And let's send it to the universe for healing, Doc. You need healing. And tell me when I have it all. You have it. All right, let's pull it all out and send it to the universe for healing. Now, Doc, before you die, what would you like to put in that space? Acceptance. All right, so let's put a lot of acceptance in there. Feel it going in, knowing that you did the best that you could. You had good intentions, and that's the most important thing at all. That little girl had her own journey to live. Feel it going in there. And I'm going to touch your forehead and let's seal that in. Now, Doc, take a deep breath in. How do you feel now? I feel better. All right, you don't need to hold that burden anymore. No. All right, so go ahead and take your last breath and leave that body. And as you transition away, tell me what happens. Where do you go? I just go up in the air. I just kind of float away from my body. Mm -hmm. So let's see where you go. 
What happens to you after you leave? Where do you go? It feels like a relief that mm -hmm. I don't have a heavy body anymore. Right. I'm just going up and up. Mm -hmm. Let's see who greets you. Tell me where you go next. I see a light. Mm -hmm. Go towards that light and tell me what's there. I feel like it's a loving place. Mm -hmm. Go towards it and see what happens. It feels like there's people waiting for me, like like a council, not family or friends, mm -hmm. like a council. So let's see, Doc, who's there? How many are there? It feels like six. Mm -hmm. But they're all guys. They're not women. They're mm -hmm. just all guys. All right. So let's find out a little bit about this council. What do they say to you? They just welcome me back and say a job well done. Mm -hmm. So let's find out why you had to live that life, Doc. What was the purpose of living a life where you were able to heal and then you hid away. Ask your counsel about that. They say I can heal mm -hmm. and I can help, but I can't change another's path. Mm -hmm. That's where I was getting confused and getting stuck. Mm -hmm. And now we don't have that guilt anymore that's holding you down. No. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that, Doc? That's a hard lesson to learn. Mm -hmm. You did your best, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Did good. So what was the lesson of that lifetime? What did you learn? To trust myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't trust myself. I, I was supposed to trust myself. Yeah. And I knew what, but I didn't trust myself. Mm hmm So let's find out what decisions you make now. What happens next after you see the council? Where do you go to next? I guess I'm going to go back. I don't know where they're sending me. Mm -hmm. I hear them talking about sending me somewhere. All right. Do you have any say in what, where you go? I kind of hear them talking, but I can't hear what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Connect with the mind to mind. You'll hear it as if it's your own thoughts. Yeah, they want me to go back. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about going back? I don't mind. I, I feel like it's my job. All I right. feel like it's my job to help. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what it is that you're going to do next. What happens now? Where do you go? I think they're trying to decide whether I was going to walk in or if I was going to be born. Mm -hmm. I don't think they want me to be born, though. I think they want me to take over someone All right. that doesn't want to be there anymore. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens. What happens next? I agree to take over someone's life because they don't want to be there no more. All right. So who is this person? Is it a man or female? Yeah, I can't. I can see here, Steve. Mm-hmm. But I don't know where it's at. Mm-hmm. His name is Steve. That's all I hear is Steve, and it's a guy in his 20s. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know why he wants it out. But I agree that I will take care of his body and do the best I can. All right. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to achieve, but I agree. All right, so let's see what happens next. How do you know when it's time for you to return and go into Steve's body? Yeah, you'll send out a call for me. Okay. I'll be watching. I'll be listening. I'll be ready. Steve sends out the call. Yeah, I think he was in a motorcycle accident. All right. And he decides he's done. I come in. And I help his body to heal. I don't know if he's married or if he has any kids. I don't, I don't know. I just am at the hospital and healing from the motorcycle accident. I'm in my 20s. Mm -hmm. Good looking guy. Mm hmm what year is it for you now? I feel like it's... Trust your first impression. 50s, the first thing I said, 52, mm -hmm. 1952. All right. So what happens next? Uh, I see his mom there asking him to get better. I start making a real rapid recovery. They didn't think he was going to make it. Mm -hmm. And then I have to go through the pain of getting better and working through the rehab. Mm -hmm. Now, Steve, do you have the same memories of Steve? I feel like I know who I am, but mm -hmm. I... I'm not sure. I feel like I know who he is, but <clears throat> I don't know a lot about him. I, mm -hmm. I try to see into his childhood and who he is, and I don't yeah. know for sure. Mm -hmm. I just see him in his... I see his family there. Mm -hmm. They love him. They care for him. I don't even think he has a wife or anything like that. No mm -hmm. kids. Um, I'm supposed to help. What is the purpose of helping Steve uh, in this lifetime? To, to help him finish his mission because he's not strong enough. Mm -hmm. So he'll get the credit. He'll get credit or partial credit, I guess, for being there, but I'll get credit too for being there and helping. I'm trying to see if I'm... I just know I'm supposed to be a loving person. I'm supposed to help people, be kind to people. Mm -hmm. I try to see if he has a job, but I can't see what kind of job he has. Because mm -hmm. I'm struggling through the pain. I accepted this, but I didn't think it was going to be hurting like this. Mm -hmm. Do you have any regrets now, Doc, for taking this? No, I feel brave. Mm -hmm. I feel strong. I just didn't think it hurt this bad. Mm -hmm. Do you have any thoughts of returning because of the pain? No, I think I can make a difference. Okay. So let's find out what happens after this body recovers. What do you do next? I do meet a girl. She's very sweet. Um, the kind of job I have... I just feel like it's working with cars or something. It's not even... I marry this girl and we have... We have a child. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I'm here. So I can help this little kid. Maybe it's the little girl that died. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Let's find out and see if this is the same... Girl. She's got the same face. Mm-hmm. She's got the same face. She looks like the king's daughter, little blonde hair. Mm-hmm. Did you make a contract with her to help her this time? To 
keep her alive mm -hmm. and be loving. Yeah, I think so. Was this like a payback? I think it is because mm -hmm. I felt like I left her down. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'm here to let her grow up and have kids and live a good life and mm -hmm. be at peace. So let's continue, close that scene, and let's move forward to another important scene in that same lifetime. What happens? I'm at the, my daughter's wedding. Mm -hmm. I'm giving her away to a very fine guy. His name is Bob. Mm -hmm. I think her name is... I keep hearing Lisa. Mm -hmm. I don't know my wife's name yet. Maybe it's Betty, it feels like. So I'm giving her away. I'm really proud of her because she's beautiful and she's smart and she's strong and she's brave and she helps people. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? Like 45, 49. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene. <clears throat> let's move forward to another scene that impacts your life. Something very important. I just have a peaceful life. It's mm -hmm. a calming life. The next important thing is that she has children. Mm -hmm. And they're beautiful, and they love me, they love my wife. So let's now move to the last day of your life, and let's see what happens. I'm at home with my wife beside me. I'm in the bed. She loved me. I knew we had a good life, mm -hmm. and I did my job. I was able to help my daughter. What do you feel the purpose of this life was? Was it for your daughter? It had to be, because mm -hmm. that's the only thing I lived for. Yeah. All right, so now, Steve, take your last breath. Transition away from that body. And as you do, I'd like for you to tell me what happens. I kind of try to comfort my wife, but she's sad that I'm lost, I'm gone, she don't want to lose me. I try to comfort her, I know I can't, but... I stay around for a little while. Mm hmm. And I float away. I float up. Mm -hmm. I know where I'm going. All right. So let's let's see what happens next as you float up to meet your council again. Still the same six. Mm -hmm. Same. This one guy that's kind of the head of them. They're all important. Mm hmm. What happens now? What do they tell you? I'm trying to decide if I should just rest or go on. Mm-hmm. I want to rest. They think I should go on. What was the purpose of that life? Uh, to pay back the little girl's life. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that you did that? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm Be as loving as I could towards her. Gave her a good life. I did. I did good. They mm -hmm. were proud of me. I'm proud of me. This little girl had a good life. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens now. Where do you need to go next? Is there something that you need to learn or pay back? We're always learning, always growing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have to pay back, but I feel like there's 
lots of things to mm-hmm. learn. Mm-hmm. Well, let's find out if you get prepared at all for the life before Tracy's life. Let's find out how you prepare for that life. It was a rest period and then I was learning and studying. Mm -hmm. What were you studying? I keep feeling like it's medicine, but Mm -hmm. I don't more like herbs and stuff it's not modern medicine stuff Mm -hmm. like roots and stuff like that Mm -hmm. and leaves I feel like I'm studying a lot I feel like I know a lot Mm -hmm. let's see if you if you have a way to determine what family you will choose to incarnate in the life of Tracy. Huh. How do you prepare? How do you choose? I can see my mom and dad. Mm-hmm. How do you see them? Very young, sixteen and eighteen. Mm-hmm. They're in love. He's so good to her. Mm-hmm. How are you seeing this? I'm just on the outside looking in. Mm-hmm. What are the things that are going through your head as you're deciding? I think if he loves her that much, then maybe that's where I should be. Mm-hmm. I know my mom wanted me. She kept asking for a blue-eyed blonde hair girl. sweet. What did you want to accomplish in the life of Tracy? To be accepting. Accepting of others. Accepting. And loving. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel that you're going to accomplish that in that incarnation? Because my dad is very loving. He's very loving. Mm -hmm. So is mom. So I figure if they can be that loving, they can teach me to be loving. Mm -hmm. Are there any other family members that are important in the life of Tracy? Where you will learn I guess I'm, I, um, I just see my mom and my mm-hmm. dad, and I know that they're loving, mm-hmm. and I don't know, I think my sister just comes to be with me, mm-hmm. and I think I'm there for my brother Larry. Very good. Very good. Is there anything that you see there? Anything else that comes to mind? You know that one. Very good. So just take a deep breath in. And as you do, let me connect now with your higher self. Do I have permission to ask questions? Yes. Thank you. 
I know you could have shown Tracy many different lifetimes today. Why did you show her the one of Doc, of that man who ended up running into the cave? She's a healer. Mm -hmm. and she hides and she doesn't need to hide. She's hiding now or she doesn't need to be. Mm -hmm. Can you tell Tracy in what way she's hiding? She thinks that people are going to blame her if she doesn't heal them or do well for them. Mm -hmm. So she hides, just like Doc did. Mm -hmm. She seems to even be in situations where other people hide her. Yeah, that's is, true. Is that the same thing? Does she kind of do that? Create that reality? Mm -hmm. Looks like it, yeah. Mm. Seems like she does a lot of hiding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does she need to do any of that hiding anymore? No. So what is all this hiding causing her physically? It's all the physical pain. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, if she was participating in life, she wouldn't be hurting like this. Mm -hmm. Now, she experienced a lot of pain in the life of Steve. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how that coincides with her life now? Yeah, the motorcycle accident was mm -hmm. her right. Uh, her right side hurts. It was his right side. Mm -hmm. uh, Is she connected to that life still? I think so. That's probably why she's carrying the pain. Mm -hmm. Does she need that pain no, anymore? No, it doesn't belong. All right, so we, can we disconnect that life from her? We don't need that reminder. She now knows that she did an excellent job as Steve, as the father of that beautiful child. And she doesn't need to carry that burden <sighs> anymore. So go ahead and disconnect that life from her. So she does not traumatize from the coming in and having to deal with that pain. So tell her what side of her, what, what was causing that pain. I know, she was still holding on to Steve's pain from the motorcycle accident mm -hmm. and it doesn't belong to her. Mm -hmm. Is that including her spine and her chest? Uh. She says her whole body hurts. <laughs> Yeah, he really racked his body on that motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Why was she carrying that, that life? Was it so traumatic? Yeah, because it was a walk-in. Mm -hmm. And because it was so painful, it was identified too, too deeply. Mm -hmm. It's not hers. All right, so can we go ahead and remove that, please? We need to completely heal her today. We don't need those memories of that motorcycle accident anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And another question I have, it was a motorcycle accident which seems to have coincided with the same time she was alive. Are we dealing with some sort of a parallel life here? <coughs> Yes. Mm hmm Is that why she's feeling more, even more pain? Because they are parallel. Mm hmm So she actually, is that a, actually a different aspect of her? Yes. All right. And why are they so joined together? They were closely tied mm -hmm. before. Mm hmm and chose to separate. Okay. To cover more ground. Mm hmm. They were too close still. Okay. So, can we totally remove any remnants of that life, please? Yes. Okay, good. Would you do a scan on her and see? 
if there's any other parts that don't belong to her, that belong to Steve. What are the things in her body that don't belong to her? It's her whole right side. That's that. that okay. Her, her hip, her shoulder. Mm-hmm. Her shoulder blade. Tailbone. All of that is from the motorcycle. Okay. So we're going to separate those two. Okay. And she even said that when she was born, she came in with problems with her kidney. Is that part of it? They were too still connected, too too closely connected. That's why she mm. had double, double tubes. Too much. They were still connected too much. Mm -hmm. So once we remove this, what can she expect to happen? No more pain in her right arm, right shoulder. Wonderful. Yeah, right here. Wonderful. Thank you very much. What is it that you're using to sever those two lifetimes? Light, white light. Mm -hmm. Like a laser. Okay. Kind of like conjoined twins? Yeah. Mm hmm. Interesting. They're separate. Wonderful. Thank you so much. She wants to thank you and her archangels and guards and guardians for bringing her here to me today. Why, what, why is it that you brought her here? So she could help people mm -hmm. to, to believe in herself. Yeah. She can do the QHHD. Mm -hmm. She's good at it. But she kind of gave up on it. She, she got frozen with fear. Mm -hmm. So what can you tell her today to get her unstuck and unfrozen thought out? She has no reason to fear. There's nothing to fear. Mm -hmm. So she's supposed to be this QHHT practitioner? Yeah, she'll be great. Okay, good. Will she be able to support herself by doing this? She wants to help her daughter and help others. If she puts the energy in. <laughs> just like you told her. Uh-huh. Good. Because she wants some help with her finances. She needs help. Mm -hmm. What's What is it that's stopping her from being abundant? Not only in money, but... I mean, everything, her health, everything else. She thinks that to be, in a sense, bankrupt, or it's like paying back penance, mm -hmm. like uh, to be a pauper, she, you know, closer to God, or she doesn't have to do that. She's chosen that, and it's not necessary. Is this from some other life? This coming from something else or coming from just conditioning in this lifetime? Uh, probably conditioning in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. So does she need that anymore? No. All right. So can we disconnect that from her? I'd like to ask for, um, on her behalf for a guide that will help her with her finances to remind her whenever she starts thinking those thoughts of lack and of punishing herself that this guide will remind her. It's very, done. Very good. Thank you. What is the mission that she came here to do? On Earth? Mm-hmm. To help as many people as she can. Mm-hmm. And she started off fairly well. Mm-hmm. And then she got stuck. Yeah. So that's why we brought the QHHT to bring her back out of being stuck. Mm-hmm. So she just needs to keep going with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm.
Where is she from originally? Does she come from a different planet, galaxy, somewhere else? I don't see that. Okay. Did she come from the light? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. And who are these six, Council of Six, that she connects with all the time? Who um, are they? There are six who've been with her from. It seems like the beginning. Mm hmm. They're part of her, they're who she is. They are. Okay. Why are they always men? <laughs> men are stronger, she thinks. Ah, so she visualizes them as men? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are they her gu guides? Or just different aspects of her? Just, just different aspects mm -hmm. of her. So who are her guides in this life? Oh, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. Mm-hmm. She has others that come and go as, she's, as, as they're needed, mm -hmm. depending on what's going on. She has Ma, who's been her angel. Who is that? Ma. Ma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that her personal guide? Yeah, she was married to her mom's dad. Mm -hmm. She's been with her. She's kind of took over when she died. Mm -hmm. She stayed with her. Actually, she's been with her a lot longer than that, but... Very good. She wanted to know how to best connect with you, her higher self. Meditate. Meditate? Mm -hmm. Breathe. Breath. Mm -hmm. So what we talked about today? Yep. She mm -hmm. just needed to be reminded. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And now she's hearing your voice. She's always doubted it before. Have you come through before? Many, many, many times. She hears me. Mm -hmm. She knows. She trusts sometimes. But not all the time. No. Mm -hmm. So after having this session and listening to her recording, will she be able to connect faster? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. She wants to know what's, what's the best place to live for her. Right where she's at. She doesn't need to move? Well, for right now, this is where she needs to be. Okay. This is where she needs to be. So, we'll let her know. So don't time. don't uproot her family yet? No. Okay. Not yet. Good. We had uh, questions about her family, and she wanted to know why she chose the family. And we saw her choosing her mom and dad. Is that why she chose this family? Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, they were very, very loving. Yes, they had trials and tribulations, but they have always um, taught her how to be strong. She's got the strength, and she's got all the tools that she needs. Mm -hmm. But they gave them to her, but she didn't trust it. Mm-hmm. They've been there. They've been many times. So they have been together? Her. Yeah. Okay, so she was just really seeing the same people over and over again? They've been together in different lives? Yeah. Okay. Has she known her daughter before? She thinks that she's an angel, and I think she's she is an angel. Mm -hmm. She is an angel. She didn't have to reincarnate. She did come to keep her from feeling alone. So as a parent, what's the best way that she can help her daughter? Teach her how to be self-sufficient mm -hmm. and courageous and strong and loving and just everything that her her mom has taught her. Mm -hmm. She's already done that, but she doesn't believe it. Well, her daughter specifically wanted to know how she can make more money, how her mom can support her better. Get off the couch. <laughs> okay. Good. So she's got to actually do something to, to make the money. Yeah. And not use disabled as her occupation. That's not an option right now. Okay. 
So can we ask for a uh, personal trainer and nutrition expert guide to get her off the couch, get her moving, and no excuses? Absolutely. All right. So I'd like to ask on her behalf for that guide today to start working on her the moment she leaves here with a new attitude about her health, nutrition, what she puts in her mouth, how she works her body, so that she can quickly begin to recover and start making money. It's done. Wonderful. Thank you. How's Tina doing? She's good. Mm -hmm. Does she have a message for her sister today? Does she just loves her sister? Her sister was really good to her. She knew that. Mm -hmm. That's why she would continually go to her sister. Mm -hmm. Tracy always made Tina feel good. Mm-hmm. Why did she have to leave so early? She had done what she was set out to do. She, she, uh, she had done her her job. She learned how to materialize what she needed. Mm-hmm. She learned self love. Mm-hmm. She learned her lessons. She's she's okay. She's happy. How can we help her children and her mom kind of deal with this? What would Tina like to tell them all? That they are loved very much. That we always will meet again. Mm -hmm. And we all still have each other. Okay. Talk to Tina. Tina said she's always there. She listens. She's there. She talks back. If you listen, she can. You can hear her. Okay. So just pay more attention. Yeah. Okay. What about her dad? Is he there? Yeah, he stayed with her for a long time. He's had to move on to to the school. Mm-hmm. But he he was always there, guiding and protecting, and she knew it. She could feel his love. Mm-hmm. Does he have any message for anybody? Just that they're loved, all of them. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm. But he's in school now? Yeah. Okay. What particular is he, is he learning? Anything in particular? No, he's extremely compassionate and loving, and he he learned all that while he was here. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure. He's gone further up than I can see right now. Okay, good. Tracy wants to know if she's ever going to find a companion in the future, a relationship. She don't want one. (laughs) Not yet. Not yet. Not time. Okay, so she needs to work on herself. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. She knows. She needs to fall in love with the lady in the mirror? That's it. Mm -hmm. You told her. Mm -hmm. How how can anybody love you if you don't love yourself, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. So she says she wants to be able to protect herself. She feels like she's hiding at home because she's too sensitive to other people, too empathic. Mm Mm-hmm. What can we do? Because she, in one hand, wants to open her third eye, but on the other side says she's too sensitive. What would you like to tell her about that? That everything she feels doesn't necessarily belong to her. Mm -hmm. As long as you, as long as she protects herself, connects with herself, Mm -hmm. puts the white light around, Mm -hmm. does all the things that she knows she needs to do, she's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Um, Just because you feel it doesn't mean it's yours. And I think she's learning that. Just like uh, Steve's stuff. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was all his. Yeah. She buys into it whole heart and soul Mm -hmm. when it doesn't even belong to her. What, why is it that she's had a lifelong depression without energy at all? It's chemical. It's physical. Mm-hmm. There's, there's a chemical imbalance. and It's been her whole life. 
Would you do a scan on her and see where this is? Where is it coming from? When she came in, she was sick, and they gave her all those different medications. It, it, as she was growing, it was changing her chemistry. Mm -hmm. And that's why she would be depressed and cry all the time. But she's a sensitive. She didn't know she was a sensitive. She just thought she was depressed. Ah, okay. She's not depressed. She's not depressed? She's mm -hmm. just sensitive to sensitive. everything going on around her? Yeah. So, how can we now clear that up, get her more energy, clear up that spacey mind that she has? How can we go in there and start clearing out those toxins from all of that? Get her peach, the lemon water, mm -hmm. uh, apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. Alka alkaline. alkaline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just continue to drink lots of water, and it'll continue to get better as time goes on. She's doing that. She's okay. been doing it. She's got to continue to do it. All right. And can we get some assistance from the light? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. She wants to know how her chakras are. Are they balanced? Are they open? Yeah, they're balanced. She's been working. Mm -hmm. What about her third eye? She gets scared. She shuts it back down. <laughs> she gets scared. So that's the thing. She says she's... She needs to trust herself. Mm -hmm. Trust what she's seeing and feeling. As long as she stays in the light, she's going to be fine. Good. What about her aura? How is that? Any tears there? No. No. It's Good. It's sealed. Good. Good. Um, she has issues with her sinuses. What's causing that? Allergies. Mm -hmm. Just some of the chemtrails. Mm -hmm. uh, different, different allergies. Um, she can tell when they spray the chemtrails because she could smell it, and mm -hmm. it burns her nose. And when they cut the grass, it kicks it up again mm -hmm. it's part of being human right now is there anything that we can do as humans to help protect our bodies against these chemtrails is there anything that we can manifest in ourselves so that it won't cause an allergic reaction get the pH under control mm -hmm. and live in the light and continue to pray and meditate and it all works out. Wonderful. Good. What about her fibromyalgia? Where's that coming from? It's a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. She holds in her her stress she worries and worries and worries and it comes out in her body mm -hmm. does she need any of that anymore no all right can you go ahead and start clearing that for her please today yes mm -hmm. and would you tell her what you're using white light perfect tell me when you're done with that or would you like me to continue while you work? We'll continue. All right. Why can't she lose weight? It's her padding to keep men away from her. Ah, okay. It's her safety. So if she's fat, then nobody will want her. Mm -hmm. Does she need that? No. Mm -hmm. no. Men like her either way. <laughs> <laughs> it's no reason to hide. Mm -hmm. No reason to hide. So we can, can we start working on that? Yes. Mm -hmm. And why does she need to smoke? She doesn't. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to smoke. She says that that's her only friend. It's not true. It's not true. If she put the cigarettes around, she'd probably be able to have more energy and be able to move around and 
to a lot more things. Mm -hmm. It's not her only friend. I think that had to do with, like she said, where she'd seen in the past. Mm -hmm. The little old lady's only friend was her cigarettes. Mm -hmm. This ain't her. That's not her. She knows that. Do we need to disconnect that little old lady from her life? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that little old lady an attachment? Or is it a past life? It's a past life. Okay. Do we need to attach to her anymore? No. All right. So let's disconnect that. It's done. Okay. And can you tell me what the health the, the uh, health of her lungs looks like? What does it look like in there? All she has to do is drink orange juice with cream of tartar. It'll help clear her lungs out. Mm -hmm. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. And over time, she'll heal through. The, as she sleeps, she'll heal. Okay. What does the orange juice and cream of tartar do? It gets the tar and nicotine out of her lungs. Mm hmm And the vitamin C heals. Okay. Does it have to be fresh juice? No. Okay. Organic better is best. Okay. Good. Yeah. How can you help her with her diet? She does well. Okay. We're working on <clears throat> more fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. less meat. Okay. And since we now have a nutrition and guide to help her, yeah. he'll, he'll, he'll go with her in the grocery stores and cooking? Yeah, absolutely. Good. She says she's almost died three times, and she wants to know what she learned or if she got a walk-in. No walk-in. She knows that she had to stay. She knows why she's here. Mm -hmm. she's no walk-in. She wasn't going to give up. She wasn't allowed to give up mm -hmm. because it would have been too much to come back and do it again. Um, so why did she try to check out three times? Because she thinks that the pain is so deep and heavy and harsh and if she's gone then she don't have to feel anymore, but that's not true. Well, I think she was thinking like Steve, wasn't she? Oh, uh, yeah. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Steve checked out. Maybe that's what it was that kept hanging on. Mm -hmm. Nah, she wasn't going to give up. She knew she wasn't going to give up. Mm -hmm. She just wanted pain to stop. So that's why Steve checked out. So those two lives are, were very connected. Yes. Okay, and it was still affecting her in every way. Yes. Okay. Good. So now she knows. Yes. So why does she has that little that little uh, scar tissue from where she was shot? Is that reminding her of anything? It's a continuation. Yes, we don't we don't hurt our bodies. Mm -hmm. Does she need that anymore now that she understands the story? No. Okay. Can you start working on that scar tissue? Yes. All right. Good. She says that she has a lifelong obsession playing with her hair. It's a blanket. It's like a um, Linus blanket. Mm -hmm. Being nervous as a child, mm -hmm. that was her protector even into adulthood. Mm -hmm. It was like a blankie in a way. I don't know how else to use the term. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a pacifier? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need it. She doesn't need it. She okay. drives herself crazy. She don't need it. Okay. So can you work on rewiring her? That's that a good idea. Mm-hmm. She wants to go to the new earth. Can you tell her about that? It's all about the vibration. Mm-hmm. It's all about prayer, meditation, vibration. She knows. Mm -hmm. Is she on track? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. She wants to know if Dolores can and could help her from the other side to be the best QHHT practitioner she can. Dolores will help anybody who asks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Is that why she brought her to me today? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, when she does her QHHT, what is the best practice for her to do before she starts doing this practice? Should she call for Dolores? Should she call for her guides? What, what would you recommend she do? Pray, meditate, and ask for Dolores and guides and guardians that that are needed at the moment. Mm -hmm. we're, we're there. We're always there. Okay. She asks, and we're there. She just okay. has to trust. Okay. And how will the clients find her? She's kind of concerned about where she should go. Should she have this in her home? Should she go to them? What's the best thing? I think it'll be a both. Mm -hmm. I think she'll end up going to some people and some people will come to her. Mm -hmm. I think they'll be able to find her. I think they'll start finding her. Okay, good. I think they will find her. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know if she has any hitchhikers that are affecting her today. Can you scan and see if there's any shadows, any anything that's bothering her? Anybody that needs to go home today? All right, scapula, mm -hmm. it's, it's shadow, mm -hmm. causes her pain. All right. Would you allow me to speak with this shadow? Yes. All right. So I'm going to bring my hand up and bring that energy up, 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 up. Good evening. Hello. How long have you been there? Six, seven years. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? Male. Mm -hmm. What may I call you? Bobby. Bobby. Bobby, how old are you? Seventy. Seventy. And how long have you been there? Six or seven years? Yeah. What was going on with her that, uh, that you were attracted to her? She was picking up a patient at the nursing home. Mm-hmm. I was hanging out there, and she's pretty. Mm-hmm. So I found a nice spot. So what what have you caused her all this time, Bobby? A lot of pain. Mm hmm Is this a pain that's reflected from you? Yeah, I fell. I fell and hurt myself. Mm-hmm. I was old. I was weak. Mm-hmm. So after you you left your body, Bobby, why didn't you go to home? Back to the light? I didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to go. So would you like me to help you today, Bobby? Yeah. All right. So, Bobby, inside of you, you're going to notice that there is a white spark of light. I want you to go ahead and locate that spark of light. This is the light that created you. This is the light of the Creator. Go ahead and start making that light really big. And tell me how it feels as you expand that light. Warm. Mm-hmm. Do you feel any pain when you expand that light? No. No. So, Bobby, this is the light of the Creator. This is what feels like going home is all about. Do you feel that you can now continue with this light and find your way home? Yeah. All right. So, before you do that, I'd like for you to go ahead and detach yourself from her body. Remove all of your attachment to her. And Bobby, can you forgive yourself for not going home sooner? Yes. Mm -hmm. And would you like Tracy to forgive you for all of the pain that you've caused her? Yes. All right, so take a deep breath in. Tracy, what would you like to tell Bobby? I forgive you. I understand. All right, so let's send them home with, with love. Send you home with love. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have... The archangels surround you. I'm going to send you home with the whole regalia today. 
And tell me when you see them, Bobby. I see them. Mm -hmm. They're going to send you right up to the light. And tell me when you get them. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Anybody there to greet you? My mom. Mm. She's been waiting a long time, hasn't she? Yeah. Give her a nice embrace. And Bobby, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I'd like Archangel Raphael now to fill in that space. Fill it with his light, his healing. Begin working so that she doesn't have any more discomfort. And is there any other area in the body that has any shadows? No. No, very good. Very good. So she seems clear. Right. Wonderful. So she did have a question, and she wanted to know <laughs> if I was going to be writing a book. Do you have any connection with my higher self? You already know. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> and when it's time, it'll be time. Uh-huh. Well, we just want to humor her. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to know if you have any messages to the world. Trust, believe, have faith. Mm-hmm. Hold the space of love, light. There are many here to help us. We're not alone. Have faith. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you feel that everything is complete today? Yes. Wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Thank you. Welcome back. That's the trip. That's the trip. That's wow. weird. What a story, huh? That's weird. Yeah. Now I know why everybody says that. Wow. When they wake up. Wow. It's like, did I make that up? That's a trip. So how long do you feel you were on this journey? Oh, an hour. Yeah, it's about an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. That's not bad. Not bad. So uh, we got a lot of answers today, huh? Yeah. Can't, can't make that stuff up, right? Wow. That was pretty it's complicated. Pretty... I mean... Just the uh, the walk-in thing was really amazing. That was weird. And how you have been really connected the whole time to the Steve. It makes sense. Doesn't it? Oh, my gosh. You were feeling the pain of the accident, of and not even... It had nothing to do with me. Exactly. Wow. Pretty interesting. It's pretty cool, though. Mm -hmm. I was there. I could feel it. I could feel it How did feel that summer it night feel? It was cool. I mean, it's so hot. It feels like it's so hot. Yeah, it's really... It does. It melts into your hands like you don't even know that it's there. Mm -hmm. So is this something that you want to share? Parts uh, of it anyway? Yeah. Some of it is personal, but I think that that walk-in thing is really cool. It's neat. Uh, it twists around and... That's a trip, though. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, okay. Now it does, yeah. I mean, who would have thought? No, I right? would have never even thought for a hot second. <laughs> not even. Not even. Not even. Oh, man. So let's, That's let's, cool. let's take this from you. Let's yeah. connect you. I'm going to turn the lights on, and, and then we're going to talk, so we can say goodbye to everybody. It's just okay. so tiny. All right. So we just had a very complicated, whoo, interesting sure. session, huh? I feel shaky. Yeah. Yeah? Sure. You still feeling? Yeah. So tell everybody why you came here. What were the things that, what was the reason that you came? I came because I would like to be a QHHT practitioner mm -hmm. and I wanted to feel what it felt like to be hypnotized. And now that you have gone through this experience, it wasn't a QHHT session. Right, right. But how did it feel to be hypnotized compared to what you thought it was? It's nothing like I thought it was. <laughs> Nothing like it that way. And you've so been through the, the training cool. already. I have been through the training. Yeah. And I've, for many years, did... Um, did the, the Brian Weiss? Self-hypnosis. Yes. Brian Weiss, yeah. So this is all different. 
Can you feel me kind of shaky? Yeah, that's why I'm I feel holding like on I'm to you. Quivering. That's why I'm holding on yeah, to you right I feel here. Shaky. Still giving you some of my energy. Yeah. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, I'm just holding you. Yeah, here. thank you. So uh, it was good, huh? It was great. Thank you. It's a blessing. You're welcome. I really appreciate you. So really we're right now. We are in well, we can call this the Cincinnati mm -hmm. area. Yeah, we're just a few miles uh, away from Cincinnati in Kentucky. Yeah. But uh, so where is it that you came from? Columbus. Mm -hmm. So that's a couple hours. About drive. two and a half. Two hour drive. Yeah, because of the traffic. It was. So yeah. in the future, when you start do, practicing QHHT, it's going to be in Columbus. Oh. So if you're yeah. if you're looking for a QHHT practitioner. Right here, she's gonna be she's gonna be good. And uh, if you want a session with me, you can look my uh, you can look me up at albaweinman.com. It's very easy. You just schedule a session, and we will see you soon. I also travel all over the place as I am right now, and you could sign up to my newsletter to see where I'm going to next. And if you're near me, a city near uh, where I'm going to, just sign up. They go really fast. Really fast. Really fast. Really, really fast. You were, it was like unbelievable yeah. you even got here no, today. No, it was a miracle. I'm, yeah. This is a blessing. It's so, so exciting. So I hope to see you soon and enjoy the videos. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Ah.